Hey, what's up guys? So we're here checking out newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards today and the first card guys is absolutely insane. It basically has Pot of Greed's effect that you can actually activate quite easy. So if you're excited about draw power, you'll drop a like on this video, but let's go ahead and check out this new card that is easily a hundred dollar plus Yu-Gi-Oh card if it's going to be secret rare, which let's be honest, it probably will be. Anyways, let's go and check out three tactical talents. This is a normal spell card that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If your opponent activated a monster effect Previously, during your main phase this turn, activate one of these effects. Draw two cards. So, that's like Pot of Greed's effect. Although, it's unclear what Pot of Greed's full effect is, but this is like part of it, right? I think. Anyways, next up, you can choose to do that, or you can take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end phase. The other effect is you can look at your opponent's hand. If you do, shuffle one card from it into the deck. Do you know how OP this is? If your opponent activates any hand traps, you could say, hold on, let me see your entire hand, and I'll put one back, and then you can go for your play. So what that means is you can go ahead and start off with any draw power or anything, and if your opponent stops you with a hand trap, you just say, no, I'm going to go ahead and check out your hand, or I can take control of one of your monsters or I can just draw two cards. Like, the options with this are actually really good. Sometimes getting a draw two is not nearly as good as, let's say, taking uh, an Appaloosa from your opponent and be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and negate everything you do now. Um, and now, it is only until the end phase, but that is still an insane effect. But this effect right here is so incredibly good, especially since your opponent already used one card. That means your opponent is going to only be starting out with four cards in their hand going into their turn because you're going to be able to shuffle one card back after, again, a hand trap. Now, it doesn't negate the hand trap, but I think this card is going to be absolutely insane. Let me know, guys, how much you think this card is going to cost in the TCG and if you guys are going to be main decking three copies. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that this card is better than Pot of Greed. It's the new best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it is really, really good up there uh, as far as like obviously not counting some of the cards that are on the ban list. Uh, it is way, way, way up there because every single deck uses monster effects. That means all hand traps. Plus, if you're going second, even if you don't look at it like, uh, you know, your opponent tries to stop your combo, so you go ahead and get Pot of Greed. But you could also think of it like, okay, if I go second, I can go ahead and just uh, have that effect. If he stops something, I'm just going to go take something or just have the ability to draw two cards so you can recover from your opponent negating your effects. I think this card is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, and I think a lot of people will be main decking multiple multiple copies of this card but you guys can let me know your thoughts on this one down below next up we have a new i thought this was going to be a battle wasp you guys remember how the battle wasps came out and then no one played them although for whatever reason my deck profile had a lot of views uh for the battle wasp i think it's because people really wanted to try out the deck it's really not s tier in terms of meta but i thought this was supposed to be support for them i was like okay cool they're getting some support but no uh it is uh, Vespinate the Spine Breaker. For some reason, I was thinking Waspinator over here. I don't know if any of you guys watch Beast Wars. Completely different anime. Anyways, rank 5 Earth Machine Exceeds Effect Monster, and the stats of it are going to be 2,500 attack, 2,100 defense points. Uh, the Exceed materials are two level 5 monsters, and it says once per turn, you can also exceed, uh, summon Vespinate the Spine, uh, or Spin Breaker by using one rank 4 Exceed Monster you can draw as material, transfer its material to this card. So, just slap it on top of anything. Uh, I can't be used as exceed material during uh the turn it is exceed summon and then you can use the second effect with this card's name only once per turn so the first effect is if it uh, attacks a defense position monster you get to do uh piercing battle damage so that's kind of nice after maybe you go for your rank four you get your effect and you slap this on top and then you can do piercing just like with the, the, the gaia uh dragon charger before the second effect is if this exceeds summon monster and it's uh, owner's control is destroyed by opponent's card. You get to target one level five or lower monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So it can uh, kind of have some recovery for some of those decks as well. So I think that's an okay-ish card, nonetheless, it's kind of a splashable card. Again, I just really was hoping for a new Battle Wasp support, but it does look kind of cool. And the next thing I want to uh, make an announcement is the 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh! Tin had its uh, design revealed over here. It looks kind of cool. I actually really like the old Gold Sark tin that was released previously, uh, but it seems like like it's the same style and, and, and shape because some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh tins like you would have to put cards like sideways but the newer ones I like the style they're a little bit more slim you can stack them up really nice so it's kind of cool to have uh, another uh, new tin to go ahead and hold our cards we don't know exactly what's going to be in here yet uh speculation for the dragon uh the the um 
the fusion card is going to be in here the one that's super op and you literally summon it and people quit on you that's supposedly going to be in here but anyways i think the most important thing is this card over here the three tactical talents you guys can let me know your thoughts on it down below i'll definitely be trying it out and if you guys want to see gameplay of it and you're new here make sure you guys subscribe turn on that bell and we'll be running three of these in every deck and i think it's it's super viable and again i want to know how much you guys think this card is going to cost down below i'm thinking easily like 150 dollars uh if it's going to be secret rare but also what this could mean is impermanence is going to go up in price because remember this is only going to be usable with monster effects but anyways thanks for tuning in guys and if you guys want to send me raid plays maybe you guys got some crazy play with of course the the new Drill archetype over here kappa uh feel free to send it in but i i don't think anyone's gonna really try to make a deck out of this card but i like to see crazy combos we'll see what happens anyways thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next video have a good one i'm signing out peace